Yeah, hello everybody, my name is Linkus7, and today we are going to be doing a Wind Waker crowd control randomizer. Now, for this specific randomizer, a few things I want to kind of mention before we get further into this. First of all, if you would like to actually run effects, because if you don't know how crowd control works, crowd control is this kind of a crazy extension that you plug into multiple different games. Today we're doing Wind Waker, where you can redeem coins which will then directly impact what's happening in my game. So you can cause an explosion, you can make Link really big, you can make the waves go crazy, you can warp into locations. You have a ton of different effects, which you can check out through the extension on the stream right here. And if you want to purchase coins, you should also do it through the extension. All the donations that are done through the extension still goes to the charity, but it will guarantee you get coins so you can actually redeem it during this run and there's also multiple more crowd control rounds that will be coming up throughout this marathon and all coins that you don't spend today will still be able to be used for the later crowd control runs throughout the week but without further ado uh i think we can kind of just start to get into this honestly uh, obviously if you don't know how a randomizer works uh, a randomizer is pretty simple it is the base game, but it's made open world. So you start the game, you can go everywhere in the game, and all the items are scattered around. So there's over a hundred different uh, places where all the items can be. And my goal is to try and find all the required items to be able to beat the game. And your job, Chad, is to try and stop me. Uh, so it's pretty much that simple. Um, I have a couple of specific settings um, that I will go into a little bit further in detail once we start this. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I think I am ready. Are you guys ready on time? Okay, so let's start this in three, two, one, and go. All right, so starting right off here, uh, you will notice a couple of things. Number one is that I have zero items because all the items except for these, I will have to find throughout the overworld. And also you will notice that four islands are already highlighted. That is because these four islands, with dungeons specifically, are required to beat the seed. Because these four dungeons are guaranteed to have a Triforce piece as the boss reward. Uh, <laughs> um, and here you can get your first little hint into uh, how crowd control works. So, um, right there is some redeemed an effect to kill Link. Uh, so very good, very good start for the, uh, <laughs> very good start. Thank you for the showcase of how crowd control works. That's pretty much how the next a few hours are going to look like. And you can do a ton of different effects as well, obviously. It's not just kill Link. Uh, you can see all of them, like I said, by clicking the extension uh, on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. And once again, all coins that are purchased through the extension, even if it's through the extension, still goes to charity. So make sure to get it through the extension so there's no issues with not getting the coins. All right, Din's Pearl. That is actually a very first good item. The pearls specifically are required because since on the map, one of the four dungeons I do have to complete is Tower of the Gods, I will have to get three pearls because even if this is open world, I still have to get the items to access each area. Um, and specifically with Tower of the Gods, uh, that includes the three pearls. Um, another thing, uh, important thing to note about this one is the actual items that I have to get, no matter what I do, is the full Triforce, because the full Triforce will give me access to go into Hyrule. I also need the full Master Sword to be able to break the barrier. And I also would like to find the Light Arrows, because that is required for actually defeating Puppet Ganon. So there's a couple of like absolutely required items that I have to get. Um, and then there's some that are optional, theoretically speaking. But it depends on obviously seed to seed. So it changes, you know, for every single run that you do for this. Someone just dropped a bomb. <laughs> nice bomb, Chad. <laughs> All right, that's our first Triforce piece. That's actually a really, really good item. So that is a perfect example of items that we want to find. So like I said, the four Triforce pieces are guaranteed to be in the end of a dungeon. So those I have to be dungeons for. But four of them is scattered just randomly around the overworld. So I am hoping to try and find some of those items as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, but those were the first few checks right here on Outset. That was some really good checks. So um, let's continue by uh, actually heading out of this area because there's not that much more that I need in Outset. All 
All right. Uh, the first location I'm going to be heading over to is definitely Windfall Island. Windfall Island has a lot of item checks, and it's also very fast to check them. So it's always something that I like to kind of get out of the way as quickly as possible. Also, did someone just take all my rupees away? I could have sworn I had rupees before. Someone just sent me lightning. Uh, I'm sorry for the small little scam and debate, but unfortunately I am already indoors, so there's not really any lightning to be seen right now, but uh, I'm sure that it's lovely outside. <laughs> Ghost chip shark, we take those. I forgot to do sword side quests, but that's fine. And a tingle statue. The tingle statues are something you might not be too familiar with because in the GameCube version of this game, you would have only seen them if you actually decided to be using um, the tingle tuner, which is an extension where if you had a Game Boy Advance and a linking cable, you could connect it to your Nintendo GameCube. Um, Thankfully, though, that is not something that we really need. Um, but, um, but yeah. Uh, however, for the five Tingle statues, you do get one reward. So there is a chance that one of the rewards could possibly be necessary. All right, treasure chart 35. That is definitely a very necessary item. Uh, also, I'm sorry for people trying to redeem some cool overworld effects because... <laughs> nice, Paper Mario and a bomb. Uh, there's not too much to screw me over by right now because right now I'm indoors, so there's not too much you can do. But, uh, oh God. <laughs> but we're actually about to go outside right now. So there is uh, some opportunities coming right up ahead here. Dude. <laughs> oh, he's so thin. There is something that I just noticed just now when looking at my tracker, because I have a map tracker just to make sure that I'm forgetting the items in my head. And that is that I did uh, I did actually intend to include short side quests in my logic, uh, which I forgot to click in. Um, okay, grapple hook. That's really good. Okay, uh, did we need to do Dragon Roost? I don't actually remember. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I forgot to click that in. So in theory, I could in theory start this over and make my life way harder if I wanted to. Stop. <laughs> um, but I think that instead this should just be a challenge for chat because instead this should just be a challenge for chat because right now my life is a little bit easier than I first intended. So you guys are just going to have to one up now because I will have an easier time than I intended, which means that you guys just have to do even more effects to stop and to beat the time. <laughs> that is a very, very, very annoying uh, effect to have. Uh, yeah, this this goal, it, the goal for this randomizer is to just beat it uh, as quickly as possible, pretty much. I'm kind of considering something right now before we get further into this randomizer. I am kind of considering something right now. So, I feel like... So, I know for a fact that this is the last... This is the last run of the night. 
And I feel like I can take on chat. I feel like I am stronger than the combined Twitch chat right now. So what I'm considering doing is I'm almost considering restarting by adding more locations in. Because I think that I would still be able to get it done before my time estimate. I think even if I restarted right now on my locations and lost 10 minutes of progress, I would still have time to do it. And it would be more of a challenge. Should we do it, Chad? Should we do it? <laughs> nice bomb. Uh, all right. Chat seems to very much approve. All right. Uh, Chad, let's do it. Ugh. All right, chat, let's do it. Give me one second. We are going to take this. Don't restart the timer, ESA. I'm going to do this entire thing in one go. No worries. We are still going to complete this entire thing. I have no doubt in my mind that we will be able to complete this in time, despite me having to redo the first 10 minutes. We are still going to be fine, I believe. All right. And bam, there we go. All right. All right, so I just added another 30 quite longer checks into this randomizer and an additional 10 submarines. So I just added about 40 checks in this randomizer right now. And I'm telling you right now, Chad, that I'm challenging you right now to try and make it so that I cannot beat the seed before the time estimate, despite having lost 15 minutes of progress and adding more locations in. Because I'm telling you right now, we got this. Uh, one thing I just wanna make sure of is that the actual effect is working. Uh, from that restart. I might have to just restart this game selection part. Yeah, we just have to quickly start and stop it, and it should work. There we go. All right, effects are working again. All right, chat, here we go. We are fully back in right now. Oh, somebody just made me really fast. Thanks. No, no, too fast, too fast. Slow down just a little bit. I, I appreciate the speed up. I'm a speed runner, but that's a little bit too fast. Maybe not that fast. <laughs> Maybe not just that fast. Maybe it's a little bit slower. Uh. But anyways, here we go. We are still going to beat the time estimate, chat. I believe, I believe that I can still do this despite having added those extra locations. But I would love to be proven wrong. Oh no, I forgot. Can I, maybe if I line it up perfectly. What if I line it up absolutely perfectly on the angle? Can I do it then? What if I get a perfect straight angle? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm normal again. Thank God. I forgot that chat can make it so that you get crushed when you go through crawl spaces if you have the wrong shape.
Can I read a donation or two? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. All right. We have a huge $250 donation by Lucas Heldwain saying, Hey, Linkus, are you sure you're stronger than chat? Smiles. <laughs> the game is on, Link. Uh, there is also a $10 donation by Jeanet saying, Had a long day at work, so coming home to learn there was a crowd control of one of my favorite games by one of my favorite runners was a real treat. Good luck, Linkus. Thank you, I appreciate it. And yes, I definitely think that I got this. I think I've got this. I know in the past I have underestimated chat, but I think this time we are going to get it. Also, Chad, can we get some pog in the chat for those super generous donations? Thank you everybody so much for donating. Don't forget that every donation that comes in, even if you buy through the extension to get coins, they are all going to a great cost. So definitely be sure to get your donations in. Um, yeah, either way. With that being said, this time when we come back now to Windfall, this Windfall is actually a bit different from the last time, because last time when I could get through every check in a minute, I now have a couple of short side quests that I will need to complete. So, I will need to um, be a little bit more careful here. Whoa! Whoa! What? I... What is happening? <laughs> I was in the middle of doing a side hop and someone turned on like a gravity. So I just got stuck in the corner. <laughs> Good job, chat. I'm proud of you. That is not bad. A thousand rupees. We take those. All right. There we go. All right, and now let's start some stuff. So for context, last time with the previous settings before the restarts, Windfall only had five checks. We now have 17 checks. So it is going to be a lot more item location checks that we'll have to go through right now. Oh yeah, I need to make it. Dude! Stop unequipping my items! <laughs> I, w I thought that my GameCube controller like wasn't working with Dolphin or something like that for a second. Because I was like, hello? Why is my Y button not working? Forgot the chat and unequip it. It's been a bit since I did a Windmaker. Random... <laughs> it's been a bit of time since I did a crowd control. I forgot how it could end up. Nice snow, by the way. Nice night. Hey! Whoa! Oh, inverted controls. Inverted controls. Oh, no. It's actually really, really clever how uh, crowd control did this um, in terms of making the controls uh, inverted because there is a specific ghost enemy in earth temple it can take over link and it kind of causes this little cool effect and it makes all your controls inverted so instead of just like having a little text prompt that says you're invert you know like you have like inverted controls it instead activates cursed link so not only can you like visually really easily tell that the controls are inverted but um um but also it's like a, you know like a native feature to the game which is a really clever way of solving that Guys, I, I really appreciate all of this help right now, but, like, I would really appreciate it if, you know, we could, like, <laughs> you know, just make some progress on, um, on a windfall here. Also, how long is this curse link lasting? Oh, never mind. Thanks. Is there time for more donations? 
Yeah, of course. You can feel free to cut me off at any point. Okay. We have several donations by many anonymous people. We have $25, $20, and another $20, one of them going to the Prince of Persia Sands of Time community dub incentive. $30 going to the Trackmania Showcase Bid War with the country skin France, and a $5 donation. Thank you everyone, you are donating to a great cause. That being making this runner's life as hard as possible. <laughs> and Alzheimer Fund too, of course. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, trust me when I will say that Twitch ad loves the rocket feature in uh, Wind Waker Crowd Control. So it's one of their favorite features. You might, if you've never seen a Wind Waker Crowd Control before, you'll probably start picking up on the point that uh, people quite seem to love it. Yay! Wow! What? 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 Oh, the crowd killed Link. <laughs> I was like, what happened? How did he drown? I just entered the water. I was so confused. I guess the effect kicked in as I was in midair, and because I landed in the water, I get the drowning animation. I did not expect that. <laughs> uh, does the does the killer bees restart from that, or do I only have to catch the last one? Thanks, Chad. I appreciate this camera. Yep, really appreciate this camera. Uh, I guess I can get the mailbox while waiting. Uh... Oh, thanks. That is true. We were actually having a discussion behind the scenes because they're asking me, Hey, Linkus, like, you know, just so you know... If you happen to go, like, over time, over estimate, it's not too big of a deal. Because if it happens to be that way, there isn't another run for, like, 10 hours or so. And I was saying that, one, I hope that, does, that that's not the case. Because I would personally prefer, you know, to be able to get some sleep. And also, second of all, uh, I think that the, um, that the host uh, would appreciate not having to wait that long either. Eh. <laughs> are you are you from Sweden or are you from uh, another country? No, I'm from Czechia. Gotcha. Which what, what time zone is that in? Uh, GMT plus one. Plus one. Okay, so you you were like more accustomed to the the normal European schedule. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I apologize in advance for this run. That's all I'll say. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Windscott lyrics, that could be useful, question mark? What dungeons do I have to do? Yeah, actually, that is useful. Okay, nice. All right, that is actually an item that I will need, or I hope mm, probably will need, I should say. And we got the Tingle Tuner. Unfortunately, that is not an item I can use. Um, there, okay, there is a way to set up uh, Game Boy Advance simulation for the Tingle Tuner on emulator, but it is not happening. <laughs> it is, uh, it's quite um, janky to say the least. It, it has a lot of issues, so I definitely do not want to use that. It would take a lot more effort than the benefits it would grant me. Someone just gave me two heart containers. Yo, thanks. Thanks, Tetra. Boomerang. Okay, normally most casuals would probably be very happy about the boomerang. However, as a speedrunner, I can tell you right now that the boomerang is a very useless item. Because the only really required spot for that is cu cutting down Caledemos in Forbidden Woods, which we don't have to do, and Puppet Cannon. And there's no way I'm cutting down Puppet Cannon. 
So, you know, fortunately not the most useful item, but, you know, it's still nice to have. All right, with all of that out of the way, I think it is time to... I think it is time to head over to... Uh, <laughs> that was a perfect jump, thanks! Whoever applied that to try and screw me over, I appreciate you. That was some sick speedrunning movement right there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, we are going to go ahead and head over to this fairy island, and then we're going to go to the submarine. Because remember, not only did I add short side quests into the logic here, I also added in uh, submarine locations. Uh, question mark, question. Oh my god, these waves. Oh god, enter the island. Enter the island. <laughs> oh. And a treasure chart. Uh, yeah, I get used to a lot more treasure charts. Since I did make my logic harder than I did initially, uh, there's going to be a lot more treasure charts that we'll be finding. But, you know, it's all in the spirit of what I like to call fun. Uh, where's the boat? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Who did that? You stole four heart containers? All right, listen, chat. I think it's time to come together and just think about it this way, okay? We are here to help people, okay? We're here to help people. You know, that's what a charity is for. So let's do some charitable work and use your coins to, instead of screwing me over, you can help me, you know, just like we're helping people with these charity donations. I think it goes hand in hand. He's so small. Speaking of charitable causes, we have a $100 donation by Anonymous saying, I'm here to help. Hashtag no evil intentions. Thank you very much for your help. I don't know why, but I can just smell sarcasm while <laughs> reading that comment. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure that $100 are all going to go to helping you, right, Chad? You feel it too, right? That's always what happens with these uh, coin purchases. Dude, I'm so small, I can't even hit the ferry. <laughs> There are even more people helping, such as Ananas with $25, saying, To get that crowd control chaos going, it's for a good cause after all. And it is indeed. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, we're gonna go over here. Epic Wade also donated $25, saying, Hi Linkus, it's the dude who created that ROM hack you played yesterday. Saw you were doing crowd control and just had to get in on the action. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. The crowd stole my Windbaker. I can't stop my boat. I think I could... Ugh. It's way slower, but I guess so. I'm used to using the Windbaker to stop my boat. when I guess I have so much speed with the Swift Sail. But I guess I'll have to use the Boomerang. Also, now when I have some Rupees, let's take the opportunity to buy this. <laughs> Saved by the boomerang, yeah. 
I felt a little bit bad for smack talking to Boomerang, saying that it's one of the only items that I don't care about and that are now useful. And then I, like five minutes later, end up using it. Yo, thanks for the rain, Chad. You know, currently I'm in LA and, you know, like we don't get much rain here at all. So I appreciate you guys trying to help out with all the droughts over here. <laughs> I always appreciate the help and the support. And some water waves. Look, nice. Now we're getting plenty of water. <laughs> we just solved all of California's issues. Good job, Chad. I'm proud of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. All right, get up. I don't know how that didn't input a spin attack. I I don't know how <laughs> that wasn't a spin attack. Oh yeah, can I just say how cool it is in my opinion that Nintendo added a native one hit KO game mode in Metroid Dread? Like I am shocked that they actually embraced a sort of like challenge run in that in that way in an official manner. Oh, nice. Someone just took my health. Thanks, chat. We're back to one heart. If I just had a better angle, I could have landed up at that top. So close. Alright, one more. Thankfully, you don't actually have to kill these enemies. It's actually based upon a global timer. So as long as you spawn the enemies, you can just roll around. Nice! We got the Master Sword! Okay, that's a really good item. Like I said earlier, the items required to beat the game, minimum, is the full Triforce, the full uh, the fully charged Master Sword, and the Light Arrows. So, anytime we find, like, Triforce pieces, or Master Swords, or uh, air bow upgrades, it's pretty much one of the best things that I can get. I keep forgetting I don't have a Wind Waker, but I think I should have- yeah, okay. The Wind Waker is returned. Silver Rupee! Nice! I'm so rich now! 500 Rupees! We have a bunch more donations to ruin your day. Uh, <laughs> we have $40 from Anonymous, $20 from DK Wings, uh, $5 from Happy Bear, Rudahi, and Princess Nico Cakes, who says, I'd normally wish the runner good luck, but most of us are trying to mess up their run, so bad luck, Linkus. <laughs> Additionally, all five of these donations are going to the Prince of Persia Sands of Time Community Dub Incentive which now has $890 out of 2,000. So keep those donations coming if you want to hear that community dub. Nice, keep it up, Chad. Did someone randomize the song? Oh no, what's the notes? 
Oh no, what is the randomize? Why did someone randomize it? I need to test every single one because the HUD isn't accurate. Okay. It's got it maybe down down? Okay. Thanks, chat. <laughs> yep, right down down. That's exactly what I remember when Tracker and being. chat yeah unfortunately the bait bag is not that useful of an item so i can skip that item very very easily Actually, I thought that I used the wrong randomizer settings. I double-checked my randomizer settings to make sure I didn't have randomized songs. And I couldn't figure out why my songs were randomized until I realized that uh, that's a crowd control feature. Oh, hey, we're Paper again. Paper Link. Honestly, they should release a Paper Link game. They, they haven't done Paper Mario right in so many years. Sans pretty much, in my opinion, a thousand year door. They should just give us a Paper Link and make that RPG. I'm okay with that too. I'll take the compromise. Nice camera. Hey, we got Forest Pearl. That's nice. All right, we take those. Chat, I love you, but uh, a link between worlds does not count as a Paper Mario game. Oh no, Chad, why? Left? Oh, that's even easier than the original. Thanks, Chad. I can't wait to play it next time and have it re-randomized again. <laughs> Don't forget, by the way, chat, that if you want to donate to ESA while a crowd control run is going on, you can do it through the extension. And if you do it through the extension, you are guaranteed to get coins so you can actually buy effects throughout this crowd control. And... There are also an additional, if I remember correctly, three or four. I think it's four more crowd control runs throughout this marathon. Um, and you'll be able to use these coins on all other crowd control runs. For example, Andy, uh, I'm a little bit biased here maybe, but Andy is doing a, a link to the past uh, crowd control uh, later on this ESA marathon. But, you know, in my opinion, it seems pretty pog, you know. I have a little bit of a, a bias towards Zelda. Uh, and if you purchase any coins right now and you don't actually use them in this specific rando, you can still use them for, for example, that run or any of the other crowd control runs. So definitely be sure to purchase them through the, clicking on donate through the extension. Oh no. Please make it. Oh, thank god. Alright, chat, I'm sorry, but you stole it a split second too late. Whoop! Nice win. <laughs> Oh, chat tried to screw us over, but it did it just like split second too late. We had already gotten far enough. I don't have a sword. And you press start. Thanks. I really need my sword. I really need a sword. Oh, I just got my master sword back right as I was uh, right as I figured it out. <laughs> nice bomb chat. Yeah. 
Stop unequipping my items! <laughs> Boomerang is useful because I... Am, you guys are taking away my sword, okay? And I haven't found another item. Generally speaking, Boomerang isn't useful. But I guess considering the fact that you can take my sword away, I guess it actually is nice to have another damage item. But now we also have bombs. And bombs is also good. Bow and arrow stuff would pretty much just eliminate the use of Boomerang. Nice water waves chat. Good job. Alright, bombs actually unlocks a lot of new location checks. So that's actually a really nice find. One thing that I... Um, one thing that, um, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. Uh, that took me off guard. I did not expect someone to take my sail away. Um, um. Oh yeah, I really hope that we can find the DQ Leaf soon. The DQ Leaf is a very essential item and will pretty much unlock a ton of places because the combination of bombs and DQ Leaf is one of the most is one of the most OP kind of combinations that you can have in a randomizer. I am not removing my sail because even if someone takes the sail away the sail would still be out on over the boat so even if someone removes my item from my z button right now i'm still fine so i'm just gonna keep the sail out and not press any buttons i see that chat tried to screw me over by pressing Y to take out the Wind Waker to kill my momentum, but you had already unequipped all of the items. Oh my god, I can get this chest early with those water waves. No! Why did it stop just now? Can someone activate this, the, the water waves again, please? Can someone please activate the water waves again? I actually needed them. Thanks for the small jump, chat. Come on, chat. Are you sure we don't want to do the water waves thing again? I think they're pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect. I'm just saying, it's pretty cool. All right. Well, if you guys don't want to help me, I'm going to help myself out. If I could take this time to read more donations. Yeah, of course. Uh, we have a $100 donation by Mugi. Thank you very much. Hope you'll use your coins responsibly. Uh... DK Wings has donated another $20. Galdiu has also donated $20. And so has Thrillhouse451 with the message ES Yay! So excited for the week of runs. Yes, the best week of your life starts here, with this runner having the worst day of their life. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, right here, since chat didn't want to help me out, I just, I just got a glitch known as storage, which allows me to. Uh, store that chest and I can then walk up this wall 
jump out of bounds and enter this loading zone so I can get both item checks without chat's help. So, I was able to get the location check even without you, chat, so thank you for that. I do actually have to open up an inventory down and check if I got any good items from that chest. Uh, oh wait, mirror shield. I don't think I had that before. Okay, so I got the mirror shield. That's not a bad item at all. Yeah, if you store an item, you don't see it until, like, you open up your inventory. Uh, nice. Okay. We take those. Oh no, I didn't buy any pears. Oh, I need to find beetle. Aw, oh, fudge. I almost forgot that you guys had this set to the song. The warp song. Starting to get the muscle memory for the songs. No, Beetle, come back! Beetle! Beetle, no, come back! Bait bag is normally useless because I would get a glitch called like the chest storage glitch and skip the use of the bait bag here. But I don't trust it because chat could like <laughs> um chat could use specific effects that would have ruined the entire trick and it would be very bad for a marathon run. Um because I'd have to reload my save file. So because of that I guess it actually does have a use case right now. But normally, it does not have a use case. Also, can I say... Chad has so far this session redeemed 69,000 coins. Which I gotta say is very nice. Someone just stole my bait bag, but thankfully I already activated the seagull. Go, seagull, go! Yo! Comrade dropping 10 heart containers for me. Thank you, comrade. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done to me. All right, we did it. All right, let's see what's in Bird's, uh, Bird's Peak. Should have taken away the Wind Waker, chat. Uh, wait, no, it's right down, down. Did you change the song again? Right, nothing up? Okay. Yo, the Picto Box! Okay, the Picto Box might seem like a very strange item to be excited about in terms of speedrunners. But it actually is a very, very, very nice item to obtain. Because the Picto Box unlocks a ton of location checks around Windfall Island. Especially once we get the Deluxe Picto Box. Uh, that already unlocked uh, three new locations. And the Deluxe one is going to be even more. So that's actually a very good item to have. Can lock you out of a lot of different stuff. Thank you, Speed, for the four month reason, my friend. I appreciate it. 
Wait, this is ESA stream. <laughs> well, still, thank you for subscribing to ESA for four months. Sorry, that was my muscle memory of being a streamer kicking in there for a second. Because <laughs> I had some downtime with sailing. Uh, speaking of downtime, is there any uh, donations? Of yeah, course, of course. And it's okay. We do thank the people who subscribe to this channel as well, as all cheers, bits, uh, subs, and everything goes to charity. So if you have a Prime sub, don't forget to use it on this channel. Uh, besides that, Jaren Summers donates $50 going to the community dub of Prince of Persia. And we have another $50 from Ivan T. 0.21 of which goes to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds Germench file name Bidwar. <laughs> so that's a very specific donation. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, we also have $25 by Lone Wolf 042 and $11.11 .11 by Labmate saying Wonderful to see you at an event again, Linkus. Much love. Hope you get destroyed by Chad. Linkus hug. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. Oh my god. <clears throat> at least we hit the switch before. Alright, let's just take this slowly. Because we are moving a little bit too fast for my liking right now. No! That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> nice bomb, Chad. Come on. Also, for anyone that is uh, that is familiar with watching my stream, you will know that I absolutely despise doing bomb bile early. But since it is a marathon, I shouldn't... I shouldn't base my decision based upon liking of the islands. Oh. It's okay, more bombile. It's okay, I'm happy. I'm happy that I get to play some more bombile. Love this island. The collisions for the bo for the switches are totally not broken. Why would you warp it? Alright, I guess I could explain something. So this right here, this warp right here. This is the Tinkle. Tinkle is a beta room because they changed a lot of how uh, Tingle Isle worked. And there's supposed to be a secret room at the top of Tingle Island in that little house up there. But that room still exists in the game. So if you warp me to Tinkle, you warp me to that little area at the top there. It's okay. It's okay, Chad. I'm happy. I'm happy right now. No need to worry. I am happy right now. Ugh. Out of curiosity, does uh, does this channel have copium? I think that is a no. <laughs> I was very surprised. Oh, that you, you was were asking, asking me. Sorry. Uh, oh. I'm pretty sure no. Doesn't. I highly recommend adding copium. Very good emo. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. Actually, I don't know if they still do this. If they still do it, it's not as big of a deal. But actually, I have a little bit of a story down member lane speaking about emotes. And this was like a really, really cool thing. And a lot of people might not know this. But 
back in the day when I started streaming, because I started streaming on Twitch in like 2012, 2013. Back then, you needed to have like at least 500 viewers every single stream consistently to be able to apply for partnership. Um, and remember also at the time, Twitch was way smaller back then. So 500 viewers back then would be the equivalent of a few thousand. So very few people had it. Um, and there was no features like raids or hosts or anything like that. So you had to naturally by yourself always have more than 500 viewers. And that was like the baseline, at least 500. So most people had to have around like six, 700 to really get it. Now, um, here's one cool thing though, is even when I got partner and they had lowered the requirement to being about 200 viewers to get partner, uh, around 2017 or so, they still didn't have affiliate. Affiliate was still not a thing. But here was something really, really cool then, was that because there was no affiliate and it was much harder to get Twitch emotes as a partner. For example, if I remember correctly, if you had 500 subs, I think you were allowed to have 10 or 15 emote slots. Uh, for give you, to give you some context, I'm pretty sure today that would be like 20, 25 slots. So either way, having a lot of emotes was incredibly rare. So the main reason people wanted to get partner and wanted a lot of subs was actually so that they could have their own emotes because it was like an honor to see that people could use your emotes in other people's Twitch chats. And here's where a really cool feature came around for both ESA and GDQ. And I remember this being a huge thing. And for anyone that's been around ESA or GDQ for a long time, I remember this. Um, the developers of Franker Phase Z, because at the time that was like the only really like good emote uh, plugin at the time. Now there's a few options. FFC is still amazing. That's a really good item, by the way. Uh, but yeah, at the time it was only really that. A really cool feature that they added for marathon runs was that they uh, Franker phases for all the big marathons. They took the username of all the runners and made it so that when they were featured on the ESA or GDQ stream, it would automatically add their entire Franker phase Z emote library to those streams. So before every ESA and GDQ, people would make their own emotes and commission people to make their own emotes, but not to have them added to affiliate or partner, but to Franker faces. So that when their run was featured at an event, people could actually see their emotes. Um, which was like a super, super cool thing. And I remember everyone was always so excited about being able to, or most people, I should say, were super excited about being able to showcase and feature some of their emotes in another chat. A very cool system to allow people to use emotes in other chats before Twitch natively added it. Well, that's a very interesting story. I didn't know that. Thank you for the <laughs> enlightenment. No worries. Speaking of enlightenment, do we have any new donations, Boss Champ? Oh, yes. We do have quite a few. We have more donations coming in. $15 by Anonymous, $5 by Anonymous and Hermit and Addison, and $10 by Anonymous, Veen and Addison, who says, Time to kill Link, smiley face. <laughs> I do also wonder which Link they are talking about. But yes, that is a lot of donations. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you everybody so much. Don't forget that if you want to have a chance to screw me over and try to make it so that I can complete this randomizer before the three hour time estimate, you can do so. All you got to do is click on the extension on the actual player that you're watching the stream on. You will get to the crowd control extension. When you donate through that extension, you will get coins and all that money that you do, even if it's through the extension, still goes to the charity, all of it. So you don't have to worry about that. And those coins that you do purchase, even if you know you don't use all of them straight away, that is totally fine. Someone changed my song. Uh, down, up, nothing, right. Okay. Because uh, there are multiple crowd control runs during this marathon, and any coins you don't spend during this run can still be used on the later runs. Thanks, chat, for changing the song, by the way. <laughs> Always appreciate your help, Chad. Go. 
<laughs> oh, actually, while we have uh, while we have a little bit of downtime here, uh, going to pop rent, I realized something really good, Chad, about. Uh, I, I would say, like, you know, like, there's a lot of negatives about, you know, uh, you know, there's some negatives and there, there are pros and cons when events are done online. Obviously, I'm someone that loves going to events and hang out with people, so I prefer in-person events. But one really good thing that has come from uh, being able to do some of these runs for these marathons remote is bathroom breaks. Because I can tell you as someone who used to do 100% Wind Waker HD runs for marathons, which is at the, at the time was a six hour run. Um, a lot of the time, the bathrooms were very far away from the venue. So you had no options in terms of going to the bathroom. So you had to hold it for six hours. But now I, uh, I actually have some options. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. You are welcome. Um, also, we just got the hookshot, which is very good because we do need to actually complete the wind temple, which is a required dungeon. So the hookshot will come into use for that. Uh, piece of hearth, very good. Uh, I think, did I get the grappling hook? Oh no, that was on the last seat. That was before I restarted it. Sag. All right. First, you have to go out of here. I actually can't leave this island without a saving quit because Link is so big, he's going to get instantly crushed the second I try to leave. So I do have to go out of my way to not leave the quote-unquote intended way. Well, actually, I, I'm not the best person to ask this because I don't know the schedule by heart, but... There is someone in this call that hopefully could answer this, but I'm pretty sure the majority of runs this ESA are in person, correct? That is correct. After the pre-show ends uh, and the main event starts at 14.00 uh, Central European time, uh, the, every single run is actually on site. So you'll get to see the wonderful crowds of people being together at speedrun nice. events again. <laughs> Paper link once again. Okay, I have to go and talk to Lenzo. Alrighty, so I have a couple of item checks that I can officially do now because I just got the Picto Box, or I should say 10-15 minutes ago I got the Picto Box, and that will unlock a couple of brand new locations for me. Uh, one of which is being Lenzo's assistant. Uh, so we will want to be his assistant here, and we will want to actually get a couple of the item checks here. Fortunately, I still do not have the DQ Leaf, so I still am a little bit limited in terms of what I can do here, but um, there are ways to get around the majority of the kind of, I guess, like checks with tricky jumps and smart maneuvering. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I have to be very smart here. Oh, I landed on this. That's fine. There we go. I thought I was going to fall down. I was ready to pause before I jump slash so I could go forward right before I landed so I can land on the balcony in case Chad was ready to uh, screw me over right there. All right, we got Moblin Letter. 
And we got another statue. All right. I'm just going to head out of here for now. <clears throat> uh, I was trying not to say anything, but when I did a crowd control at home, I think I spent 15 minutes to get through that crawling space. Because if you redeem anything to make Link a different size, you will get crushed while crawling there. And I just waited until Chad would give up. And like I said, it took over 15, 20 minutes before I got through it one time. So I was trying not to say anything, hoping people wouldn't remember and that I could get through the entire thing. But, uh, unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. So, yeah, good job, Chad. Alright, we're just gonna be delivering some letters right here. Uh, do we have any more new donations, by any chance? Anyways, so hi chat. <laughs> I didn't know Atriox friend streaming. Is that our new nickname, chat? We're no longer Linka7, we're Atriox friend. Copium. Uh. I like how the host thought that it was funny to mention that it was thanks for sharing that i said that it's nice to be able to take bathroom breaks during marathon runs and then i'm pretty sure he does the same thing uh also we just got the skull hammer which would normally be extremely exciting if it wasn't for the fact that on the map i know that we don't have to do for second fortress so it only really is like half useful if I don't use glitches in Earth Temple, it could be useful in one way. Otherwise, really not. So unfortunately, that was pretty much for nothing. Nothing down, down. Did my worst nightmare just occur and I was summoned while not being present? No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. <laughs> well, I Nothing. do certainly have donations to read. Uh, there is a $35 donation by Ivan T. Thank you very much. There is also $5 from Cinderpella saying, As a fellow Swede, I say good luck and let's get more donations for a good cause. I agree. There is also Tingle with $5 saying, Hiya! Saying what? Hi, ya. I think it's a greeting. Okay. <laughs> I will take your word for it. Why? <laughs> Why, chat? Why? Also, where is she? She should be here by now. Hello? Oh, there she is. Okay, I was gonna say, where did she go? Alright, okay, let's see if she gives us anything good. This is a very, like, long kind of auto-scrolling, uh, like, side quest, so you kind of just go around and do some general, like, windfall stuff while waiting for it. 
unfortunately, I don't really need rupees. Uh, there's really nothing I need to spend my rupees on. But uh, thanks anyways, I guess. <laughs> Okay, Woo. all right, I did something pretty clever just now. So, I knew that Chad would try and stop me and, and change Link's size to crush me when going through that hole. So, instead of making it obvious that that's where I was going, while I was waiting for the auto-scrolling side quest with Mila, I went and I stored that upstairs door with storage. And then, once the side quest ended, I opened up another door, but it teleported me to the store door and i made sure that the door i stored was specifically the one upstairs the one that's so difficult to get to um so that even if people realized it they would have such a short time to react to it that the odds were that i could get through it and thankfully we did it so one of the worst checks for crowd control has been surpassed that's kind of the funny thing with crowd control wind waker is that you kind of have to think of different strategies to get around twitch chat because I, at this point, like, I've kind of learned different ways that Twitch chat has an opportunity to screw me over. And thankfully, I can I use that to my advantage. Command Melody, that actually is necessary for Earth Temple. So that's actually a really good item. All right. I <laughs> call that cheating. It's just called five head chat. Sorry. Oh, come on. Who took away my heart containers? I was having a great time having so many hearts. You can't technically wrong warp a door storage, but what you can do is if you door storage a door and then you open up another door, it will bring you back to the original door. So it's more like you are delaying entering an area that you stored, if that makes sense. Like, imagine that you have, like, door one and door two. If you store door one, once you open door two, you will end up, like, in the loading zone of door one, pretty much. So it's not, like, really, like, rung warping per se. <laughs> also, we have just reached a total of 80,000 coins this session, Chad. We are getting close to a um, hundred thousand coins. Don't forget to redeem coins. All you gotta do is click on the extension and click on donate. All donations go to a great cause, and you get coins. You can screw. <laughs> you can screw me over. Besides screwing Linkus over, I would also like to remind you about the cause we are raising money for, which is Alzheimer Fountain. Uh, Alzheimer's has no current cure, but treatments for symptoms are available and research continues. Although current treatments cannot stop Alzheimer's from progressing, they can temporarily slow, slow the worsening of dementia symptoms and improve the quality of life for those with Alzheimer's and their caregivers. I can't even cancel out of this. I need to figure out what the song is. It's gonna take so long to try every single combination.
This is actually really bad. This could actually be really bad. Uh, I might legitimately softlock if I don't somehow figure out the song. Does anyone know what the song was before? Because there's five different combinations and four different notes. That's so many possible combinations. Oh god, what was it? I know I checked it up earlier in the VOD. Before, it was da left, up, 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 and then they changed. Oh no, what was it? Oh no. What, what, what was it changed to after it was left, up, up, up? Oh no. Down, middle, up, right? No. Are people just guessing combinations? Oh no. Uh Uh Oh no. I don't know how long it's been since I saved and quit. Wait, what was it even? What did it even do? Down, up, middle. Okay, the because as Salvati said in the chat, I think the third note was nothing. So they started guessing of, of the third note being nothing. Down, up, nothing, right. Oh my dog. Thank you, Salvati. Can we get some claps in the chat for Salvati saving the run by at least remembering that the third note was nothing? Oh, dude, we would have been so screwed otherwise. Oh. Oof. Run saved. Yeah, I manually saved straight afterwards so that it doesn't happen again. That scared me so much. It's fine, we're so close to the island. I would have watched all 625 combinations. I would not. I would have just taken the I would have just taken the L and just redone everything I did uh, since my previous save. That was spooky. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm ready to start trying to like get some of the last overworld checks and then start going for dungeons.
Okay, iron boots. Okay, I think it's time to start heading towards dungeons. We are getting so many items at this point uh, that are required for dungeons. The only one I really would like right now is Deaky Leaf. That's pretty much the only one that I'm really missing. Everything else feels fine. Did I do that submarine? Did I do this specific submarine before I restarted my game or after? I don't remember. I'm going to double check, so... We don't mess anything up. Let's check just to be sure. All right. Did I complete this submarine or not? I did. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because I accidentally did not click it off of my tracker. So I wanted to be 100% sure that we did not forget that location. How's the beverage? It's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, for anyone that knows me, uh, they will know that I absolutely love coffee. So... Yeah, always got to have a cup of coffee ready to go when I stream. Can't live without it. Yeah, stay hydrated, Chad. I would like to take this time to say that we have a donation of $15 oh. by Hermit, uh, which is going to the bit war of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, any percent, with the file name of Zeldude. We also nice. have an anonymous $5 donation, uh, which is going to the Trackmania Community Maps Showcase with the country skin of Germany. Is there by any chance possibly nice item? Uh, a Trackmania Swedish theme map? <laughs> uh, yes, the bid war has multiple uh, bids. One of them is Germany, one of them is Sweden. There is also Norway and France. Those are the four choices. So far, Germany is winning at 155, and Sweden is actually the lowest at only $10. What? Come on, chat. We can step it up. We can step it up. Give some love to Sweden. Exactly. You know, when you're like, you're, you're moving out of your parents' place finally, and like, you know, you need some furniture. Sweden has always been there for you with our IKEA store. So I think it's time to, you know, <laughs> repay the favor by, you know, supporting the, the Swedish maps. Alrighty, um... Okay, let's go over here. Yes, so this seed does follow a logic. So, uh, this seed does have a total of about 150 locations. And, um... Currently, to beat the game right now, I would need 12 more items. So I'm missing 12 items, there's about 150 checks. I've checked about uh, 50 of them so far, roughly. I have about 100 checks left. 
Um, so that is the general goal. And obviously it is logic, which means that no item can be, be locked behind something else. Um, so there's no way that the seed could not be completable. Uh, that would be very, very bad for a, a marathon run. Um, the, if you're wondering, by the way, why I'm doing a randomizer crowd control and it's not just a Wind Waker crowd control, um, it's quite simple. If you've ever played Wind Waker, you will know that, first of all, there's a lot of cutscenes and they're not skippable. And you will also know that there's just a lot of slow travel for a playthrough of the game. Like, there's just a lot of, you know, you have to follow the same path and, you know, you can't really go many places, so it doesn't really fit the spirit of crowd control well. But thanks to the fact that the randomizer makes the game like open world, and I need to do very specific tasks to progress, um, it makes for a much better crowd control experience, in my opinion. <laughs> nice bomb. Grappling hook? Okay. I still really want to find that Deku Leaf, though. Where could that Deku Leaf be? I'm wondering if the game wants me to go to Earth Temple already. Maybe that's it. Because I pretty much have everything I need to be able to progress to Earth Temple. And also the majority of the uh, Tower of the Gods have found the, 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 uh, one more pearl. Uh, let's try and head over towards, um, let's try and head over towards Headstone, which is where Earth Temple is, and let's see how far we can get through Earth Temple with the current items that we have. I don't have the leaf, so I can't do too much, and I also don't have fire and ice arrows, but I still got the mirror shield at the very least, which should give me a couple of location checks pretty quickly. It's actually one of the few times where I will be using the boomerang, despite having bow and arrows. Actually... Mm, yeah, let's use bow and arrows. No! Yeah, let's use boomerang. Uh, Link? Oh, okay! <laughs> Where'd he go? Really, that didn't take him down? For context, for people that don't know, I used to speed on the 100% category of this game quite a lot. So thankfully, I know the, the fast rats for the majority of these locations. It's just that a lot of time, I don't have the items that I would use for the 100% speed run, but uh, yeah. Bow and arrows is better for remote access, but boomerang is the fastest if done correctly. Which is very easy to get exploded by those bombs. Earth God Lyrics, okay. We are starting to unlock a lot of this game. Uh, this is actually going way better than expected. Uh, out of curiosity, what's the actual uh, timer on right now? The timer is at 126.30. 126.30, okay. Okay, pretty good pace. I think if I continue to be lucky and things are going the way it is, I think I might be able to win this. We'll see though. We will see how chat <laughs> does it. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh yeah, I don't have power bracelets. I could in theory use a annoying ledge clip to clip in here, but I think it's better to just try and find the... Um, I think it'd be better to just try and find the... Um, Um, power bracelets.
All right, in here, there is a cave. Uh, this one, thankfully, we can do that because you can reach this in multiple different ways. You don't need the leaf as long... Uh, the hookshot also works here. So you have multiple options, which is very nice. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's see what this is. The Minecraft Island. Honestly, I always like the kind of blocky... I like games that have, like, blocky kind of textures and themes, kind of like Minecraft. I think it looks really good. And it ages really well, too. All right, there's not that many more item checks in the overall that I have left here. I am, I really dislike having to break my muscle memory by relearning these new songs. It's gonna be very tedious <laughs> for my brain to think about this in the future. If you like blocky textures, you should lower the bitrate. No, thank you. <laughs> Oh, come on! What was that timing? If you would have done it like half a second later, I would have been able to actually take out the sale. <laughs> no, dungeon entrances should not be randomized. Don't mind me, just sailing through the ocean. Free bear style. Oh, hello. No, the gourd fell under the water. Are you serious? <laughs> Well, that was nice. Thanks, chat. Yeah, I guess the platform was moving a little bit too much for the Goron's liking, and he decided to actually just fall underneath the map. Uh, fun fact, that can actually happen in a real, like, speedrun and playthrough of the game. It is incredibly rare, but if you're coming from another coordinate, uh, so different islands have kind of different properties in terms of like, with no crowd control in mind, that is. Different islands have different properties in terms of like how much waves can be. So there's islands that have calm water waves where they, they can't move too much. And then there's like me medium and like, and then high waves. If you're coming from a coordinate that have higher waves and then go into the great fish coordinate, uh, the coordinate will start loading while it's calming down the water waves. And if it happens to be that right where that, you know, kind of like dock is where the Goron stands on happens to have a specific angle, he will even in the vanilla game fall underneath the map. Um, thankfully, you can fix it by just revisiting the island, reloading it, or just, you know, save warping. But uh, you can actually have it. I've had it happen to me in a, in a few speedruns. And it's very annoying every time it happens. <laughs> the Goron drowned. Don't worry, he can he can he can uh, he can breathe still. I mean, you guys play Twilight Princess. You know that Goron that was like stuck underneath a rock in Zora's domain in Twilight Princess. 
it was totally fine, so I doubt he has an issue down there. I am a little bit scared because I've almost checked every single overall location at this point and I haven't found a progressive item. What I'm wondering is if I'm just unlucky or if it happens to be that the one single individual item check that I can actually do in Wind Temple has... No, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Goron, please. No, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh my god, Goron, please. Oh my god. Uh, or if that one single item check that I can do in Wind Temple has it. Whew, okay. He did not clip through the platform this time. Alright, we did it! <laughs> Sorry, Goron. No falling underneath the map this time. <laughs> He's so small. Did someone change this song? I was just getting used to it. Down, down, nothing left. Okay. Damn it. Ruining my muscle memory. He's so small. Ghost chip chart? Uh, that actually does lead to one more item check. Okay, I'm starting to think that it might be the one single individual item check in Wind Temple. I'm getting a bit scared. I'm gonna check it. Screw it. I'm checking it. Normally I don't because it's not worth it to enter a dungeon just to check a single item. But I, I'm thinking it might be that. Uh, pretty much, to get past the very first room in uh, Wind Temple, you need the Deku Leaf. However, there's a single chest in the first room before you actually have to use the spring and the leaf that you can unlock by planting two seeds with Makar. I'm wondering if that one specific item happens to be the item that I'm needing. Let's find out. Also, while I'm, uh, while I'm heading over there, is there any donations that we haven't read yet? Why, yes. Uh, it seems like Sweden is finally getting some love as nice. Urangi donates $20 to the cause of the abandoned child of Trekmania community maps showcase country skin, which is Sweden, with the message, pity, heart. <laughs> Thank you for the pity donation. I appreciate it. Uh, we have another $20 by Seraph Bloth... Sorry. Seraph Blossom... Uh, with just a smiley face. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, very nice. There is also another $20 by Civilcrad saying, for charity and Lonka's punishment. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that a little bit less, but thank you still <laughs> for the good cost donation. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is the one single item check that I can do in Wind Temple the one I've been looking for? Because I have almost gone through every overall check. Let's see. It is not. Wow. Uh, for context, to tell you how unlucky this is right now, um, I have in the overworld right now that I can access four checks remaining. And I've done 43. So, yeah, I've done over 90% of all the overall checks at this point. <laughs> without finding an item to progress into dungeons.
Thankfully, though, once we find those, we should be able to start rushing through some more dungeons, which would be a lot faster, because going through item checks in dungeons is really nice. I have not forgotten a small detail. I do not have the last pearl. There is no forgotten pearls in this one. I'm assuming that this seed was... Uh, no, no one has checked out the seed, including myself, actually. I... Uh, we're all, we're on version like um, in public releases, no beta versions of the Wind Waker randomizer. We're on version 1.9. It has been developed for so long that I don't think there's been a single reported unbeatable seed in so long that there's really no need anymore for double checking seeds beforehand. I I would like to say it is impossible to get an unbeatable seed, but if it is possible, it would be such a ridiculous low chance but i don't think there's any accidents or oversights in terms of the logic the only quote unquote i guess maybe possible oversight is if you want a 100 percent the seed uh, because there is like one or two locations that can be a little bit funky that can hold technically like a heart container, but that's it. Yay, a yellow rupee. I, <laughs> this is, I can't believe this right now, Chad. We have checked almost every single location. There are two more locations left, plus the ghost ship chart that we like just obtained. And that's it. How is this happening? How are we this unlucky? Wrong song. Wait, no, I think I remember this. It was I think it was down, down, and nothing left. Okay. Could you do Dragon Roost? I could do Dragon Roost, but due to uh, race mode slash marathon run uh, mode being on, we know that Dragon Roost can hold a good item. Only the four dungeons located on the map is required. Uh, the reason we do that is because what can happen if you don't have race mode is that you can get so lucky that you find every Triforce piece in the overworld that you skip literally the entire game. So to guarantee that you guys actually got to see a proper, you know, like, fun seed, I always do race mode, which guarantees that for the dungeons, uh, we'll have a Triforce piece as a reward for beating the boss. So the actual like heart container in the vanilla game is guaranteed to be a Triforce piece. So I still have to find you know the four Triforce pieces randomly around the game, and I have to find uh, you know the Master Sword and the um, and the Light Arrows, but four of the Triforce pieces are guaranteed. So you will at least see four dungeons. But yeah, so with that, I know that. Dragon Roost is a scam. Where are you? There you go. There we go. I think that's it. Beautiful. Yo, we got Invisible Link. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, there's only two item checks left in the entire game. Is it actually going to be the last check? Is that really what's happening right now? Is it really going to be in the go boom to the last check? Yeah, you only have to kill the Wiz Robes. All right, two checks left.
We got the fairy fountain, and then we got ghost ship. Speaking of which, where is ghost ship? Okay. It's okay, we're gonna get such good luck in all of the dungeons that we're still gonna be able to beat this underestimate, I believe. Alright, second to last check. If it's not here, it has to be in Ghost Ship. Unless somehow I forgot something, which would be very bad. Because I would have no idea where to start. <laughs> Here we go! Boss champ! Okay, okay. This has to be the item I was missing. Even if this doesn't make me- Even if this still keeps me locked out of dungeons, it gives me more item checks. So- in a way, good, because now we have more item checks. In a bad way, I still can't do the dungeons. That's still progress, though. Because it does give me a few more options of where it possibly could be. I'm gonna check Ghost Ship ASAP, because it's kind of annoying to get the Ghost Ship location, and it scares me with the thought that that might hold uh, a good item. But yeah, Fire and Ice Arrows is one of the better items I could have asked for, honestly. Let's see if Ghost Ship was also required, or if it was actually that location all along, hiding away the Fire and Ice Arrows, which, which leads to the items we need. Because, yeah, to explain my kind of issue here, the majority of the checks I have left... The... The majority of the checks that I have left. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> um, are dungeon based. I can't do Earth Temple without Power Bracelets. I can't do Wind Temple without Deku Leaf. I can't do Forbidden Woods without Deku Leaf. And I also cannot enter Tower of the Gods without the last pearl uh, that I'm missing. So that's the kind of main issue that we're at right now. Oh no. Chat slow down my arrows.
Okay. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Thank God I just hit that so I didn't have to deal with a new day. Okay. Yeah, you can slow down my arrows, which makes for arrow-specific se sequences really freaking slow. <coughs> Alright, let's get these items equipped. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, okay, I have- did someone give me a jump or something there? Okay, that's a really good item. Yes, keep giving me those sort of items. That's what I like to see. Keep giving me that. Yes, please. Yeah, thankfully, uh, the collision isn't perfect on that watchtower, so you don't actually have to hit the dead center. You can hit the sides, and the fire can go through the wall and activate the light, which is why I was just kind of shooting the side there. Got some more cheese. Uh, all right. Here it should be pretty easy. I just need a nice arrow. All right. Oh, we're so close. Like we've got to get a, an item that lets us do a dungeon so soon. Like, it's- we've gotta get, like, the DQ leaf or the power bracelets, like, any second now. Or the pearl, for that matter. Because, like, we're starting to run out of locations once again. Yeah, I don't know how fitting it is, those chat, to activate snow. Um, for a... For a fire mountain. But what do I know? <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh my god. Why? Why, Chad? It's okay, I have all the time in the world to wait for my bow. Oh god, I only have one arrow left. Hey, any- any givers in the chat feeling like, you know, giving away some arrows, perhaps? I think some arrows would be really nice. Thank you guys for the small jumps. I appreciate it. Oh, come on. Inverted controls? Alright. I can deal with this. Whoa! No! Come on! Wait, I seen the layout. Someone sent me arrows. It doesn't even matter. The death can still be avoided. Because even though we just died, we just got new arrows. So we still can try it again. We got this. We got this. Thank you, chat, for the arrows. No, get away from here. Alright. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, do you have any new donations? Because this, uh, I feel like I don't really need to explain what's happening right now. <laughs> oh. Dude, I actually am seeing on the crowd control session. We have Chad. You have officially gained over a hundred thousand coins. Over a hundred thousand coins have been purchased in this crowd control so far. Keep it up. Some claps in the chat for Chad doing such a fantastic job. Over a hundred thousand coins in total. Remember that all donations. Uh, Ooh, go towards a great cause. Thank you for the 10 heart containers. I appreciate it. The crowd enabled one hit KO. Oh, dude. If it would have happened like a split second earlier, I would have been so dead. Whew. Nothing left, nothing, nothing. All right. Whoever is sitting out there and actually helping me right now, providing me with arrows and hearts, thank you so much. I love to see it. I am not used to actually, like, having help when doing these kind of crowd control. So it's a very nice change of pace to see people actually helping out. Thank you for the tinkle location, Chad. I appreciate it. <laughs> Why did you redeem it twice? Okay, you really want to see some... Okay, let's take a tour of tinkle. Here is a painting. Here is a table. What is on top of this table, you might be asking? Getting crushed. But what is actually on the table if we get a nice view over it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Another tinkle painting. What is the floor? Tinkle. Walls tinkle. Roof tinkle. And there it is. And of course, you can't forget about the two beautiful windows. This beautiful one bedroom apartment can be yours for the low price of $69,420. Sign up right now by donating to Crowd Control. For legal reasons, that is a joke. And for charity reasons, I encourage you to donate. <laughs> Do listen to what Linkus says. <laughs> I agree. That would be quite a generous charity donation. We do have some generous donations here. We have $20 by Civilcrad saying 20 more pog. That is very pog indeed. Uh, we have $12 by TK500Mile, uh, which is going to the Trackmania Community Maps Showcase with the country skin of Germany, which is still winning. Uh, but at least Sweden is currently tied with France at $30. So... Let's get more love for Sweden. Chat, Still not up there. I hear a lot of the nations coming through that doesn't have an incentive. So just add a Trackmania Swedish incentive. Because if you're going to donate anyway, so you don't have an incentive in mind, just do the Trackmania Sweden one. Because we got to see the Swedish one. Well, no sale and no bow. It's fine. I don't mind. I got all the time in the world. This is a great time to remind you, chap, by the way, also, that you can stand up and stretch. That's right. Been watching ESA for multiple hours in a row. Don't forget to stand up and stretch. It's very pog. Very, very pog. 
also hydrate. That's very important. On a serious note, because I have to wait 30, 30 seconds, I'm going to use the bathroom. Don't do anything, chat. All right. I will take this time to talk about donations. Donations, they're really good. I've gotten some right here. Uh, we have $100 by Chris Schlottens saying, We're helping! You are indeed. Thank you very much. We have $10 by Zeno Strigger saying, Let's get him, Chad. Uh, which is going to the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds Any% percent file name bit war uh, with the file name of Zeldude. Thank you very much. We have another donation of $10 by Anonymous and... We have another donation by ten dollars by anonymous of ten dollars. Um, Dude, <laughs> hello, welcome back. Well, that's a nice view to come back to. Glad to see that chat was having fun while I was gone. Come on, did we really have to? Did we really have to remove those heart containers? I was. Oh, come on! Who turned on slow arrows? Why? It's gonna take like ten years to reach the head. I, the gravity might actually return to normal before it has time to reach him. <laughs> oh. Take your time. Take your time, Arrow. You got all the time in the world. Any second now. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> no, you can't shoot another arrow shot while the first one is still out. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, I still had invisibility frames. Oh, come on. Ice physic isn't enough. We got to invert the controls too. No. <laughs> I'm too fast for the ice. And I'm inv invisible. I have inverted controls. Fast speed and invisible. Really? Is this really necessary? Oh my god, and now we're jumping. <laughs> I can't even. I. 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 Come on! I had just made it. Hey, do a big jump. Oh. Thank you! Whoever did that to try and screw me over is sitting there, you know, laughing at, like, you know, how bad of a time I was having. Thank you! No! 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 I take back the thank you. I would draw it. Please. I'm too fast. All of that for a Boca Baba seed. Are you for real right now?
You know what? I'm just gonna save and quit. All right. All right, it's okay. We just have... Oh, we're back in the same position we're in before. We have two more item location checks in the entire game. How am I so unlucky? Like, I legitimately am having such a bad time with the seed. I checked every check. Second to last item out of all of them gave me an item that gave me like 10 more locations. And of course, it's the last ones too that have <laughs> the next item I need. I might actually have to check all of them. So remember, Chad, the total checks with the logic that I used had a, it, had, it was about exactly 130. I've checked 50 out of 86, and the majority of those 86 left are dungeon based. In the overworld, there's actually now like less than 10 checks, even if I had every item in the game. What is happening to this island right now? very awkward to aim this when I'm so flat. My visual cue for where to shoot is not correct at all. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Holy crap! Uh, out of curiosity, did we just really recently get a massive donation? Because I'm pretty sure that someone just purchased 50,000 coins, if I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken, we have indeed just received a $500 donation from Moko Michi USA. Thank you very much, that is awesome. Wow. You know, I just gotta say, before you consider spending those points, or coins, let me just say one thing, okay? With great power comes great responsibility. I see that you misunderstood me, but that's okay, because I didn't finish my sentence before you took my bow away. So let me, let, let me, just hear me out before you continue in this round. With great power comes great responsibility. So when, you know, you have a lot of coins, you should use that power for good, not evil. And more good is coming your way with an anonymous donation of $10 to Sweden with the Trackmania country skin. So Sweden yeah. is in third place now, overtaking France. How much would Sweden need to take first place? Uh, currently, Sweden has $40 and Germany has $172. All right, chat. Every single donation that you send in, if you don't have a specific incentive in mind, make sure to do the Trackmania Swedish one. Sweden's gotta win. Alright, we did it. Woo! Wasn't even in the camera because it jumped up so high.
Did someone change this song again? Oh. Come on, chat. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not cool. All right. Please. All right. Chat. You remember how I found... You guys remember how I found the... Uh, you guys remember how I ended up finding the fire and ice arrows. And then every single item chat did not lead to another good item. Sans stand. Well, remember how before I even got Fire and Ice Arrows, there was two item checks left that I had? It was Ghost Ship, and it was the one that gave me a Fire and Ice Arrows. And then John changed it to Daytime, so I couldn't enter Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship is the only item check I have left right now, unless I forgot one. Which means that it's been in here the whole time. Come on, enter the light. Thank you. So we could have gotten this item check really long time ago if John wouldn't have changed it to daytime. What? Oh my god. I... I forgot to... This entire time. I forgot that I got the cabana deed. I forgot, because it was like literally like the first check in the game, and it because and I didn't have a tracker open, so it never clicked off that I got the cabana deed. I have had the location check this entire time. Oh my god. It's okay, it has to be at the cabana deed then. Oh my dog. Literally the very first item I get. It, like, no meme. It was the first item in this randomizer. And it has been holding the item I've needed this whole time. The amount of time I've lost due to forgetting to click that off is not even fun. Oh. Maybe I could cheer you up with a $10 donation to Sweden. Sure. Uh, from the donor <laughs> at this with thank the comment. You. Thank you to the runners. Sincerely, you all make this possible. Smiley face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for donating to Sweden. We appreciate you. Don't forget to support your local IKEA store. Am I small? 
Yeah, I'm small. <laughs> I was gonna say, why is the camera view so weird? Here, I can actually... The collision for the skull hammer is so big. You can actually hit the switches with the skull hammer through the wall. Does it not work when you're small? Oh, no. Stop being small! Link! Stop being a pancake! Does paper link also not work here? Dude, this is bullshit. Why would us changing this change the collision of the hammer? Yes! Woo, I was just sitting there waiting with the perfect angle. Oh, please tell me Big Link still works. Okay, Big Link can still do it. It's just Small Link and Paper Link that can't. Okay. Alright, we did it, Chad. No, the vanilla method would not have been faster because if you try and go through a crawl space when you don't have the normal size Link, you get instantly crushed and void out. And there is the power bracelets. Like I said, the two items I needed were either power bracelets or Deku Leaf. There it is. The item we've all been waiting for. Link, you're too thick. I can't aim low down enough. Thank you. Alright. Well. Even if we didn't get the leaf. We still actually finally got access to a dungeon. And that is what I like to call some good progress. Finally I can do one of the four dungeons. All right, here we go. Let's do it.
Yeah, two hours for the first one. To be honest, it wasn't even just chat screwing with me. A lot of it just comes down to how bad the seed has been. And the fact that I kind of forgot that that was a location. But that's okay. Technically speaking, Chad, we can still be in this. As l If Earth Temple has uh, the light arrows, uh, two Triforce pieces, and two sword upgrades, we can do go mode of all the remaining dungeons and still have a chance to beat the seed pretty quickly. Uh, all I need is, you know... Five very specific... Sorry, six very specific items in one dungeon. The odds of that is probably like one in a million, but it could still in theory happen. Just have to be lucky. Oh god! <laughs> Sorry, Medley, I didn't mean to bonk you there. Left, up, right, down. Yeah, I don't feel too, like I don't feel too bad about myself having to stay up longer to complete the seed because like right now it's like 8 p.m. for me. But for all the Europeans in the chat or that's hosting ESA, um, yeah, I apologize in advance. <laughs> if chat keeps this up, it might be a long night. Oh boy. Chat, will you help your poor host go to sleep <laughs> early? Come on. Give the runner a hand. I can't see anything. Thank you. But we did get $50 from CJ saying, Been watching your runs for years, Linkus, and you've always been a bright, welcoming voice in the speedrunning community. This one's for Sweden, and it indeed goes to Sweden, which means that now Sweden is in fact second place at $100. Nice! Keep it up. Also, like, was it just CJ or was there something after CJ? Uh, there, it was just CJ okay. uh, with the $50. Nice. Thank you, CJ. There are, however, other non-Sweden donations, such as $10 from Octarine and $5 from Mokomichi USA. Thank you to you two. Thank you, everybody. Got another Tingle statue? Okay. Alright, Medley, come here. Uh, can I even go through this door? Okay, I wasn't sure if she would be able to fit there. I was like, uh, does that even work? Like, you know. Uh, same thing. Does, will this even work? Nice. Someone stole my shield. Thanks, Chad. Chad is really trying to stop me right now, but you're underestimating me. We got this. This dungeon is going to have all the required items, so it's going to be really easy from now on. Trust me. Like, DQ Leaf, Light Arrows, everything we need immediately going to show up right here. I think that's four Tingle statues, if I didn't miscount, but I should probably double-check, honestly.
Uh, I take it back. That's all five Tingle statues. <laughs> well, that's the answer to the question. Alright. Come on, I gotta find that DQ leaf somewhere. Where is the DQ leaf? Something about Smashed Link makes me think about Baby Yoda. That's a very sad statement. Baby Yoda is precious. You cannot co <laughs> you cannot correlate a smooshed Link to Baby Yoda. It has been so long since I actually, like, legitimately solved this room. Even in Glitchless, uh, for context, you skip this room. Because there's a Glitchless way to get around this room. Because, um, the, the staircase is grabbable. So by doing a precise jump and leaf, you can just barely grab onto the ledge. Is there a reason why a crowd control doesn't have a reset and wipe save file command? Uh, yes, because then I would never, ever, ever, ever beat this seed. But definitely a very good question, though. I'll, I'll take it into consideration for future um, effects. I will definitely 100% tell Jakku it needs to be implemented. I can't climb the block because I'm too tall. Is this how tall people feel, Chad? Is this how life as a tall person is? Don't mind me. Yo, yeah. oh, thanks. Oh no, I'm going backwards. Alright, at least I turn back to normal. Alright, there we go. That should be all the enemies, which should unlock the next area. Here's also one of the few and only cases where we actually want to use the boomerang, Chad. Uh, because uh, in this next room right here, the item is actually just exposed. You don't, you don't actually have to go ahead and um, jump down for it to spawn. Oh, sword upgrade! We take those. Unfortunately, the extra gravity uh, made it so I failed the strat, but we still got a sword upgrade, which is very, very good. 
That's actually one of the necessary items. No, stop, stop, stop. Let's keep this luck up. Uh, a little bit of a confession to make here, by the way. I don't think I've beaten this mini boss in over five years because in every category, including glitchless, you skip this. And I don't. Wait, never mind. I have the hook shot. Sorry. I, it's, I'm going to continue to streak. It's going to be another five years. I was going to say, I don't have Deku Leaf, so I can't skip it, but never mind. I have the hook shot. I can still skip it. Yeah, there's just way too many ways to skip this for both, like, the casual game and for randomizers. You can either use the hook shot or you can use the leaf. We're good. You'll have to wait another five years. Sorry, bro. And we get to keep enjoying this music for a bit more, too. Or not. I guess that doesn't happen in the rando. Wait, is there actually an Xbox giveaway? Or are people trolling? There is an Xbox giveaway, which you can redeem using channel points. Channel points only, Pog? No, chat. Nothing up, left, down, nothing left. X, up, left, down, X, left. Okay, I had to write that down. There's no way I was going to remember that. Don't write it down, you coward. Hey, I make the rules here. Thanks, chat, for the big jump. I'm getting a little bit scared. Don't get me wrong. The Master Sword is a very, very good item because it's something that I need to beat the game. But I'm getting scared that I'm not going to get, like, some progressive-based items. I really want, for example, like, the DQ Leaf. Like, it's got to be around here somewhere, right? I really hope that we don't get, like, the Pearl. The Pearl would be way worse than obtaining the DQ Leaf because it means that I have to start doing Tower of the Gods without the DQ Leaf. And without the Deku Leaf in Tower of the Gods, I can't complete everything in that dungeon. Which means that I might have to make that a 2 trip, which would be very slow.
Oh boy. All right, here we go. This hopefully is a small key. Okay. Oh, I really wanted that to be a small key because I don't want to deal with trying to move over to that like hidden tingle chest in this dungeon. And because that would have been very, very bad because I don't have a DQ leaf. Let's see if I can land this now. Ah, almost. If you time that perfectly, you can just barely have Medley land up there and you without falling down. Yeah, believe it or not, the majority of this time loss in this run so far has not just purely been by Chad. It's actually a lot been down to how bad the seed has been. I would say like without a ran like without the crowd control, I would still always be able to beat the seed in like two to two and a half hours. Even with like this sort of a seed. But with crowd control and combination of a bad seed, it makes for a rough experience. You keep asking where is the leaf, but no one asks how is the leaf. Yeah, how is the leaf, Chad? You changed it again? Right, left, left, X, right, left. Gotta be faster before someone changes it again. Okay. Why is Leaf? No, Medley. Alright, I believe in a DQ Leaf in this dungeon, Chad. Personally, I believe. It's gotta be down here in the basement. It has to be. I'm trying to do a trick here, by the way, to uh, do this room much faster. So I'm trying to make it so that I can solve this entire room uh, without actually completing the entirety of the puzzle. 
It is a bit finicky, but it definitely is possible. What? My shield! God damn it! My shield! Give it back! Give it back! Alright, fine, chat. You wanna play it that way? Then let's play it that way. We'll do it this way instead. Yeah, you cannot unfortunately take Medley away. Or I should not say unfortunately. You can fortunately not take Medley away from me. Even with all the power the Twitch chat has, they cannot take Medley away. Bam! Room skipped. And now everything else will be broken. Normally I wouldn't do all of this, but... Since I kind of was left, you know, without... Um, uh, DQ Leaf, this was just the best way to go about it. Okay, you know what? Light arrows, we take those. Okay, this dungeon, even without the leaf, has been amazing. A sword upgrade and light arrows. This is really freaking good. And Deluxe Picto Box. Oh, dude, this basement is super nice right now. I am loving this. I am loving this right now. What a great basement, dude. This place is stacked with items. Fine. You wanna play it that way, Chad? Let's play. I like how people are stealing my sword away, not realizing that this is a skull hammer area. Can't stop me. I'm small. Even if I have the shield, this is such a debate. Oh. Nice. I was gonna say, because I was so small, even though I had the shield, I couldn't use it. Oh. 
All right. Last two item checks. Thank you for the A-press. Thanks for the bomb explosion. <laughs> Come on, Deku Leaf. Compass. Sag. All right, please be the DQ Leaf. Please be the DQ Leaf. Please be the DQ Leaf. Damn it. Okay. Okay, buddy. <sighs> Everything is fine. We got this, Chad. So big. Thanks for the start. We're doing pausa now. No, I'm not worried at all. Everything is fine. All right, here we go. This chest, though. This is where the leaf has been the whole time. Actually, catch me. It's the fastest way to get back. All right. We still got this. We still got this. Funny looking leaf you got there, Linkus. Yeah. 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 Oh no! Not one hit KO. Health, please. Stop taking my hearts! Oh! Okay, one hit KO is disabled. Thank god. What a perfect timing for my sword to come back. Could not even have time to better myself. fun that's that's fun that that's totally okay i don't mind that that's that's okay that's okay that's okay chad
That's totally fine. Perhaps some donations could cheer you up. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> uh, we have $30 by Mike Kuhn uh, saying, I love RTA events. Uh, we have $13 by Piano Waffle with a little heart as a comment. Very nice. I'm sure they spent their, their coins very nicely. Uh, yeah. He totally wasn't the one that sent the kill link command. <laughs> Definitely uh, not. We also have another anonymous $13 donation and an anonymous $10 donation. Thank you everyone for nice. your donations to Alzheimer Fun. Thank you everybody. Come here. There we go. All right, we did it. And this should be a guaranteed uh, Triforce piece, by the way. So we are at least making progress. Now, it is time for every single body in the chat to pray. Because we have to get one of two items. There are two item checks after this dungeon that I can get right now. There's literally only two in the entire game that are accessible to me. One at Tingle Isle and one at Windfall. One of these two needs to have a progressive based item, which could either be the Deku Leaf or a Pearl. If it's a Pearl, it could end up taking me a lot of time because it might require us to do a two trip Tower of the Gods. While if it's the Deku Leaf, I not only have options if we're going to two different dungeons, but I also could do in the future then a one trip Tower of the Gods. So let's pray that one of these next two item checks has the DQ Leaf. Please do not be the Pearl. And if it is the Pearl, please let the other check have the Leaf. Nothing, nothing left. Nothing left and right, nothing. Please be a DQ Leaf on one of these two locations. Please don't be a Pearl. Oh, and if it is a Pearl and not a DQ Leaf, then just like, let it... Just let me find the DQ Leaf on like the first item check in Tower of the Gods, please. Here we go. First, he's going to give us 50 rupees, and then we get the actual item check. Here we go, please. Oh no. It is actually coming down to the last item check. It's a 50 50. 50% 50 chance of pearl, 50% chance of leaf. It has to be one of the two. Oh no. Please be the leaf. Please be the leaf. Please be the leaf. Please be the leaf. Please. Why? Why? 
All right. This can still turn around for us. Maybe like the first two or three item checks in Tower of the Gods have the leaf. So I can like leave Tower of the Gods ASAP. Or I can complete the entire thing in one trip with the leaf. So it's not like placed in the end of the dungeon. So it makes it a two trip. Maybe we can still be lucky and have it like placed like as like the first or second chest. This can still be saved. Because like in the basement area, there is like one, two, three. There's four quick item checks. And then a fifth kind of a slow one. If it's one of those, we still won't lose too much time. Come on! Uh, oh, I think that I think that ESA made a typo. I think my time estimate was supposed to say uh, like three and a half hours, not three hours. That must be a miscommunication. No, 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 no. There's no way that we would like lose the the time estimate chat. That's that's a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Our bad. Oh! The last Master Sword! Dude! I'm so close to being able to beat the game now. I just need DQ Leaf. Copium. Uh. And, uh. Two more Triforce pieces. Deacon Leaf and two more Tri... No, th yeah. Two more Triforce pieces. That's it. Wow. Oh, no. It has been so long since I did a leafless Tower of the Gods Store 1 skip. This is going to be bad. It's okay. The leaf is going to be in the very next location. There's one more location left on the first floor. It's going to have the leaf, trust me. This is it. This is it, chat. I believe... Oh, super fast? Nice. Thanks, bro. Wee. Wee. All right, let's see. Will this last location have it? Let's find out. Here we go. Yep. 
Oh no, I think this might have to be a small key actually. Oh no, I think this is a guaranteed small key. Because if you don't know how to do glitches, otherwise you couldn't do floor one, I think. Oh no. That's okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Floor one skip leafless. I can do this. It has been a long time since I did it, but I feel like I can do it. I think I can do this, chat. I got this. That's weird. Why is chat saying they won? The, the estimate clearly says it's three hours and a half. Yeah, well, <laughs> what are you up to, Chad? Hello? Just look at the estimate. Yeah, what? <laughs> We've only been going for three hours, Chad. We're like 30 minutes left before the estimate is up. Hello? Oh my dog. Uh, wait, I think I can time a jump slash to get into the corridor here. Oh, oh, perfect. Thanks. Whoever did that, that was even sicker than what I was going to do. Thank you. Yeah, you can do that skip without leaf as long as you're like going off of the water and then like going back into the water by like doing jump slashes back in. I'm so big that my normal visual cue for placing a statue doesn't work. All right, we got 30 minutes, Chad. We got 30 minutes to complete this dungeon, two more dungeons, and beat Pup again. And we can do this. I'm going to beat the estimate. 100% we're beating the time estimate. We got this. Oh god. What? I thought he was gonna grab that ledge. Oh, damn it. Uh, speaking of which, this is kind of like an auto-scroller section, so do you have a donation or two to read? Thanks, chat. Uh, well, I would like to remind you that you can receive a prize by donating to uh, the amount are cumulative, so you can make sure to check how much you've donated so far, so that you can be eligible for a prize. So, for example, if you've donated $50, you are eligible for one of the two rumored PlayStation 5s. Do they actually exist? It's your chance to find out. <laughs> I gotta talk to the ESA staff and how they found two PS5s. I'm gonna be honest. I, uh, I've been trying to find one ever since it's launched. And uh, I have not had luck yet. So I don't believe it until I see it. And you just may be able to see it, if you do donate $50. <laughs> and while you're at it, put that $50 to the Sweden Trackmania community skin. Yes! Oh my god! We don't have to do two Trip Tower of the Gods! Okay. Okay. It finally happened. There is no way. Oh. 
my dog. Alright, all I need now is two Triforce pieces and I'm in go mode. Because the only items that I missed to beat the game right now is Triforce pieces. I have three out of eight. But remember, three of them are guaranteed to be when beating the boss in the dungeon. So Tower of the Gods boss is guaranteed to give me one. Uh, I'm guaranteed to also get one from Earth, uh, sorry, from uh, Forbidden Woods and Wind Temple. So I just need to find two Triforce pieces and that's it. Because it's the only random checks left that I don't know where they are. Once we've found that, we are ready to rush through this game. Uh, thankfully, also, if we happen to find a Triforce Pieces in this dungeon, it would be very, very nice, because, um, this dungeon, you can't skip too much of it anyway, so it doesn't take too much time to go out of your way to check the item locations. While, for example, Wind Temple, if you have every item, so you're in what we call go modes, so you have all the items required, you can literally just speed run through the whole thing super quickly, uh, losing almost no time whatsoever. So, let's definitely hope that we can uh, stumble upon... the two last Traverse pieces while going through this dungeon right here. Also, sorry, I uh, was mistaken in what I've said. I uh, said that the PS5 donation minimum is $50. It's, in fact, $100. But hey, hmm. still a good value. True. $100 for charity and a chance to get a PS5 is better than no chance at a PS5. Like... <laughs> Uh, the rest of us in the wild have to find one. And it's like 10,000 coins for the crowd control runs. True. People in chat are saying that the Switch one is 50. <gasps> Who flipped my controls there? Oh my dog. If you would have done it literally one second later, I would have been fine. <laughs> I was on my lap. Who pressed A? Who pressed A? All right. Here we go. You might be pressing B right now, but that does not... Oh, one hit... Okay, one hit KO, that's fine. You know what? One hit KO does not bother me, because I can destroy this boss fight. I do not need to take damage. I think at this point, everyone that's... Like, everyone that has the money has been able to have found a, like, MSRP Nintendo Switch. There's enough stock of those going around. Um, PS5s, though, are still very difficult to find. But, but, yeah, not everyone has $300 laying around, fortunately, to buy a Switch, though. Sage.
All right. The dream of a god ending seed still technically is possible, chat, because we still have one, two, three, four item checks left. So in theory, <laughs> if out of those next few location checks, two of them is a Massa Sword, we're good. Uh, it's a Triforce piece. I can't talk. Right, right down. Hey, double magic? Wait, I already had double magic though. What champ? Oh, maybe a crowd control gave me double magic. That might be it. Okay, let's check these two checks. Silver rupees, not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, yeah quad magic now, true. Ah, oh, who did that? Oh no. Oh, whatever. Oh, Sag. Come on, who keeps pressing A? Key. Oh boy, there's only a single item check left in this dungeon, which means we do need to check some item locations. I'm going to... Oh, let me think. What should I even do? What would be the fastest? What would be the most optimal way to go about this? Let's think here for a second, Chad. I think the most optimal thing I can do at this point is to check the last overworld checks, because I'm only missing two. And then if that doesn't have the Triforce pieces, then I think... Hmm... It doesn't really matter in the end. It's kind of just a 50-50 chance, honestly. That's the sad part. It's just kind of a 50-50. There's not that much of a time difference, honestly. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. 
All right. We got this, chat. Please have a Triforce piece. Please have a Triforce piece. Please have the Triforce piece. Damn it! Okay. All right. Well, a time has come. The time has come for a 50-50 chance. Do we believe in the 50% chance that it's in Forbidden Woods or the 50% chance that it's in Wind Temple? Or are we so unlucky that one is in Wind Temple and one is in Earth uh, uh, Forbidden Woods? So it doesn't matter what we do because we have to check both anyways. I have no idea. You know what I also just realized? We haven't gotten a single bottle, I don't think. Oh no. Not slow arrows. Oh no. Why? Oh no. And averted controls. Wait. <laughs> sure, go ahead and steal my arrows. It gives you new en new ones anyways once you reach zero. Oh my dog! Okay! We got this, Chad. We got this. Arrows. 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 I'll check. Thank you. Wow. He insta respawn. Bullshit. He insta respawned. Are you for real? Two insta respawns. All right, we did it. No, this is going fine, chat. We just have an incredibly difficult and unfair randomizer seed and about $2,000 worth of effects trying to stop us so far. This is fine. <laughs> Thank you.
That is true. We're at 183,000 coins. Less than 20k away, Chad. For 2,000. We got this. Alright, let's check the last two final overworld locations. And if it's not there, then... Okay, nothing left down, nothing. And if it's not there, then it all is down to... Uh, 50-50 chance at the two dungeons. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why, Chad? <laughs> Why, Tinkle? Oh, come on! <laughs> Come on, Linkus, you just let the host sleep. I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of out of my control at this point. <laughs> there isn't much I can control in that front. True, though. Um, remember, Chad, if you get coins and then use those coins to help me, you will also help the host go to sleep earlier. Also, someone just stole my DQ leaf like a split second after I used it. That was very close. Crowd control, more like sleep control. <laughs> However, we do have a $50 donation by Piano Waffle. Uh, glad to see a Wind Waker run, especially for crowd control. Keep up the great work and freak Alzheimer's. Exactly. <laughs> I agree. Thank you, Waffle for the 50. Alright, here we go. Please be a Triforce Chard. You can make this way faster. Yes! Okay! Okay, if... Okay, we just need one more, and then we are in go mode. One single more try for space, Chad. Please. You know what? I'm going for winter. I'm going for... I'm going for... Did someone change the song? Right up nothing, I think. Okay. I'm going for Forbidden Woods. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, Chad. One of the two dungeons needs to have it. It's a 50-50 chance. I'm doing Forbidden Woods. We're doing it. We're doing Forbidden Woods. I'm gambling Forbidden Woods. I believe...
Uh, nope, we do not have any single overworld checks left. We have done every single one of them. This is actually almost a 100% seed at this point. Not 100% in terms of like having 100% all the items, but like checking all the required items. The only, the only ones we have left now is Forbidden Woods and... Um, Wind Temple. Both! No! 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 No, what is this? Oh my god, no! is just sad. Oh, thank God. Enter. Okay. All right. Please tell me that this is the dungeon that has the extra trappers piece. Please tell me that this pays off. It's actually a 50-50 chance. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. My sword was so big, I could actually break it on my own. Nice. Please try for us, peace. Please try for us, peace. Oh my dog. He pressed B, but he did it like a split second too late. He almost jump slashed us down. Oh yeah, definitely, Chad. Yep, you're right. It's always been that. Yep. Please try for peace. Come on, dude. The second I find a try for peace, I can just literally go ahead and beat the dungeon. And I can rush to the second one too. All I want is a single little try for peace. My DQ leaf. Come on. <laughs> oh God, someone inverted my controls.
Damn, I heard the sound effect of it being an actual normal item, and I got excited for a second. I thought that could have been the Triforce piece. But nope, just allows a little treasure charts. I sure love being invisible, tiny, and having reverse controls. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, thank God. It's over. Here we go, please. Nice camera. Come on. Come on. All right, there's two quick item checks right here. If we get lucky, this could be it. I heard the sound effect, I got excited. I saw the compass, I was not as excited anymore. Come on, where's that Triforce piece? Oh, no. Dude, is it actually a wind temple? I would be so sad. True, it will go down in the history books. That, how, how we were able to finally figure it out a cure for Alzheimer's. A speedrun by the name of Linkus7. <laughs> Decided to do a Wind Waker crowd control on ESA. Yep. We're gonna make history, Chad. Thanks for the A press. If I may, we have a fifty dollar donation from Thor Does a Thing saying here's to a fruitful ESA winter 2022 for Alzheimer's research and this again goes to Trekmania showcase country skin of Sweden nice keep it up with those Swedish donations we'd love to see it all right please tell me that that chest is stored oh no I could already hear it was sound. it was parts It took away my... Um... Come on, it's been so long since I did this. This hasn't been in the route for like ever. Oh, 
Dude. No! Oh no. Yes! <laughs> okay. Almost made me fall into the portal because the room goes inwards. All right. All right, chat. I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that we got the boss and the boss obviously did have the Trevor's piece. So we only need two more now. One we know is the boss fight for Wind Temple. Bad news is that we still have not seen a single sight of another Trevor's piece, which I do need. So I'm going to go through all the remaining item checks in Forbidden Woods and pray that it is here. If it's not here, we did all of this for nothing, and we could have just rushed through this dungeon and gone to Wind Temple. But obviously we can't know, because it's just luck-based at this point. Oh, one hit KO? For once, I will actually use the boomerang then. Clever. Very clever, Chad. Very, very clever. Good job. Chat, I have a bad habit of copium way too much when I, when I, like, stream. But it sounds like you guys are on a completely different level. You just keep telling yourself that the estimate keeps changing. Like, we have never changed the estimate. You gotta stop the copium. Like, there's a healthy level of copium and an unhealthy amount. And you're reaching an unhealthy amount at this point, Chad. You gotta stop imagining things. I may have you slightly underestimated ESA's Twitch chat, but just slightly. Like, this is going according to plan. <laughs> Maybe I slightly underestimated you guys, but it's not too bad. Overall, this seed has gone fine. Thanks for the A-press. I'm gonna do a cool trick for you guys. Check this out. Pog. Can Tall Link not do this?
Am I too tall to get underneath there? Come on, tall Link. Why are you so tall? Guess we're using the boomerang again. Oh boy. I'm getting really scared that I did all of Forbidden Woods for nothing. I mean, there is still a few more location checks, so I shouldn't lose hope. But, starting to feel that way. A boomerang is useless. I stand by my statement earlier. I stand by it. To the end of time, I stand by it. This, I would say, on uh, no meme, I have had worse seeds, but that is when more location checks are in place. With the conservative location checks that I went for for this marathon run, I would say this is either the worst or one of the worst seeds I have ever gotten. Like, it is actually impressive how bad this has been considering the locations that we set up for ourselves. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm too tiny. Small Link is somehow right now worse than Tall Link. Sure, that's fine. He's too tall. We got this. We're gonna find it any second now. Unfortunately, uh, we only have two more item checks left in this entire dungeon. So if I don't get the Triforce from this location or the next one, that means we chose the wrong dungeon and we should have gotten Wind Temple this whole time. Let's see. Did we do the right gamble? Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on, the chest's right there. <laughs> Thank you. 
That is literally the last check of the entire dungeon. I was right to be... I was about to be done. Why? Why, Chad? Why would you do this to me? I thought we were friends, Chad. Here we go. Please have the Triforce. Clutched. Saved. Yes! Oh my god! Dude, what is this? Literally last check of the dungeon. I don't care, dude. I'm out. I am out. We found it. Okay. Now we just have to rush through Wind Temple. Literally rush through it. I just need to beat the boss for the last Triforce piece. That's it. Oh. My. God. I can't believe it went for the right gamble. Dude, if I would have gone Wind Temple first, I would have done every check in Wind Temple, and it would have been the last check of Forbidden Woods. It would have actually been every location check. Because that will always be the last check I would do. Because I didn't get the small key early. It was in the basement. So that's naturally the progression it would always have there. I prop You guys probably changed it again, didn't you? Yeah, write down, write down. <laughs> Mid-song. All right. Also, Chad, we almost have a total of 200,000 coins redeemed during this random where 192,000. Can we get to 200k in total? Let's see if we can do it. And if anyone do decides to get some more coins, be sure to remember to redeem it towards the Swedish goal for Trackmania. That's right. Currently, the country skin for Trackmania of Sweden is at $150, while Germany is sitting right above it at $172. Go Sweden. You can overtake Germany. We believe in you. Do it. Right, left, up, right. Oh, we're fast. We. Did you guys? Yeah, of course you changed it again. Up, up, down, up. 
Does the existence of Linkus 7 imply that the existence of Linkus 1 to 6 exists? Yeah, of course. Linkus 1 to 6 is uh, great. They have a great little spot in my basement. Got them their own bed and everything. Up, up, down, up. Did you randomize it again? Down, right, right, right. Okay. God damn it, Chad. <laughs> Bed singular, all of them share one bed. <laughs> True. Alright, if you're wondering why I'm checking chests still, by the way, it's because to be able to beat this, I actually do need to find a small key, like I said. So, we cannot complete it until at least a small key has been found. But once we've found a small key, we're good. Come on. Linkus, could you please explain why your estimate is over 100 hours? Well, you see, I decided to finally take a new approach. I usually underestimate chat, but I decided for once to not underestimate you guys. Right, left, down, right, down, X. Right, left, down, right, down, X. Yeah, we might finally be underestimate. It might actually happen. Yes! Okay, there's the small key. We did it. Beautiful. There it is. Alright. Let's beat the seeds, shall we? I would just like to chime in with uh, some donations. Of course. We have an anonymous donation of $10 without a comment, and yet another anonymous donation with $10 without a comment. Uh, then we have a $20 donation by DK Winks, uh, which is going to the Prince of Persia Sands of Time Any% Percent Community Dub, which currently is sitting at $950 out of 2000 so nearly halfway there. Nice. Keep it up, Chad. Ah. 
I would be very impressed if somehow this ended up actually ruining the schedule for ESA, Chad. The effort you would have to go through to somehow delay this to go across the entire night into tomorrow to infringe on the schedule would honestly be probably one of the best collaboration jobs that Twitch chat has ever done. But so far, Twitch chat has done something as incredible uh, because Dito Luigi just donated $25 to the Sweden country skin in Trackmania, which means that Sweden is now at the first place, uh, currently winning at $175 over Germany. Let's go! I knew we could do it. Enjoy your free IKEA, Chad. Congratulations and thank you for the donation. Thanks, Chad. But winning by $3 wasn't enough, and Tetra Marcus just donated $50 to Sweden's country Let's skin go! in Trackmania. That's awesome, thank you very much. Thank you, Tetra! Also, Tetra says a smiley face. Smiley face, couldn't have said it better myself, honestly. Oh my god, they try to place a bomb, but it gets stuck inside of the wall. Oh. oh dude. Tried to take my hook shot away, but thankfully they took them like a split second too late. Sorry, chat. Paper link is too thick to get in. Oh, get in there. For being paper, you're incredibly thick. All right, thank God. All right, we got the war portal. So even if uh, they end up, uh, even if they end up like doing a one hit KO or they like do a kill link, I can respawn here now. All right. Ha! <laughs> 
No, he's gonna eat me. No, I'm not food. I'm not food. I'm not a snack. Oh no, I don't have my hook shot. Oh no, not one hit KO. Really? The effect wasn't enough. Thank God one hit KO got disabled before the bomb explosion came through. Dude! Where am I? Oh my dog! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is happening? My sword is gone. You can still damage him with other items as long as you hook shot him before. Because it kind of like it puts the tongue in a vulnerable state. So sorry, but not sorry. Get outplayed. All right, we got the last Triforce piece. That's it. That is every... Okay. I, I knew it was around there. Okay, that is every item we need to beat the game. We can officially try to go and beat the game now. That's it. That's all we need. Now we just need to somehow get through Puppet Ganon and Ganon. Oh, hello! Say goodbye to him for one last time, Chad. For all time's sake. Hello. Bye, Tinkle. I have a feeling that Ballad of Gales is randomized. Up, left, up, left. Ooh, that's an easy song. I like that. I warped to the wrong location. I'm so Pepega.
Don't mind me, just taking a little cruise. Do you know what I'm a little bit upset by? I'm legitimately upset that somehow, despite checking over a hundred locations, I have not found a single bottle. The bottle is the most common item to find in the game out of items, because it has four different ones. The fact that out of all the items we checked, we somehow didn't find a single one of the four is so bad. Because I really want fairies. But we just won't be able to have any fairies, because... Somehow the game decided that that was not necessary. But like, the odds of that happening is actually ridiculous. I don't think I've ever had a zero bottle seed before in my life. You know what? I believe there's going to be a bottle right here. You know what? I'm checking this extra location. I'll check this one location. It is technically optional at this point, but I'm checking it. I believe this is the bottle. Yeah, this is actually one of the most cursed Windbaker seeds I've ever done. Here we go. This is a bottle. The sound effect of the item played. I got excited for a second, but nope. It was just a treasure chart. My guess would have to be that there would be a bottle if I went through every chest of Wind Temple, but I really do not have the time or patience to do that. Because there's no reason to. Alright, here we go, Chad. This is it. This is end game. It is time. Oh, gotta stretch those legs. I've been sitting down nonstop for a long time. And hydrate for the host record. <laughs> Don't forget to hydrate and stretch. Yeah, that is Barrier Skip Skip, for people that don't know. It is a crazy skip to skip the Barrier Skip. Link is you have 96 hours left on your estimate. You definitely have enough time to check for all of the bottles. You know what, chat? Would you like to check the Light Arrow chest? Should we check the Light Arrow chest just to see what the final chest in the game has? Maybe it's our beloved bottle. Or even better, maybe it's a hero's charm. <laughs> I am so happy I got through the loading zone before that went through, because then I respawned right where I died. If it would have happened in Hyrule Field, I would have had to restart all the way from the beginning. If it takes less than three minutes, then sure. Yeah, it's like a two-minute check. Whoa! Fast inverted controls. Uh, we set the estimate to 100 hours because there's some sort of like visual bug on a Twitch on the on Twitch's side of things for the ESA stream where it kept for some reason like not displaying the correct time estimate. Like it tried to say that I was gonna do this in three hours, which I never definitely said, and then it said three and a half and four, so we just changed it to 100 so that it was consistent because it was just glitching up way too much. Hey. 
All right, fun fact, if you did not know, the order for Phantom Guinness Maze is always the same. You just have to memorize it. It is always down. Left. Up. Left. Right. And up. Very cool. All right, here we go. What is the final chest in the rando? Will we find a chest? Uh, will we find a bottle in the chest? Let's find out. 20 rupees. Seems pretty appropriate, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna check the C- or I'm gonna check the spoiler log. I am so curious where they place the four bottles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Manga TOS. Wait, is slow gravity on? Oh crap, and I don't have a sword! Here we go. Here we go. How did that not hit? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, yes! to screw me over but let me do pop again and skip thank you chat oh my god you tried so hard to ruin the fight that you let me do pop again and skip thank you we no longer have to beat him it doesn't matter if you kill me i got the war pot it doesn't matter it literally doesn't matter i opened up the war pot so even though i died just now we don't have to do it 
Chat tried so hard to stop us from finding him that he actually helped. Actually faster than beating Papagana. Thank you. Because one moon jump does not do the trick. You have to combine two or three, but so many people were spamming it that it made us go all the way up. The second I saw that I was going up, I took out my leaf and I started like maneuvering based upon the shadow in the bottom of the room to land at the top. We showed mercy to you. Don't kid yourself. Listen, I'm the king of copium. Trust me, anyone that's seen my stream can confirm. And I can smell the copium all the way over here in that comment. Sure, Twitch chat in our crowd control, all teamed up, four different individuals at the same time to use an effect to help me. Mm hmm. Good one. Yeah. Definitely what happened. All right, let's do this. Remember, chat, there is more crowd control runs in this marathon. So even if you didn't spend all your coins, there will still be more opportunities to use them. No! <laughs> no! Get me down! just had the sword in my hand there. Oh. Oh, that was so close. In an attempt to cheer you up, I have more messages about $10 being given to the Sweden country skin in Trackmania. Let's from go! Taco Guy saying, good luck, smiley face. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Anonymous has donated another $10 with no comment, and so has LX Predator with $10, who is giving it to the Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds file name bit war with the name Link. Just Link? Yes. Oh no, slow arrows. <laughs> there is also a $50 donation from Pyro Cheesecake saying an attempt to get closer to the 100 hour estimate. 
Thank you. Walk into it. Walk into it. Walk into the arrow. Walk into the arrow. No, walk into the arrow. Come on. Walk in. Walk into it. Do it. Yes! Walk into that arrow. Walk into it. Oh no, I think it's too high. Walk into the arrows. Okay, it's back. Oh. Oh god, and oh god, inverted controls. What? Where am I? I'm invisible and I'm flying to the sky! Oh my dog! I can't hit him! I can't do this! Where am I? Oh no! The camera locked in the middle of the sky! Final time. Final time is 4.23.59. Nice! We easily beat the time estimate of 100 hours. Beautiful. Uh, Oof. let me just check that on the stream right now. Yeah, it seems that the current estimate is back at 3 hours. Oh, I guess that means you must have lost. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Well, in that case, good job, Chad. You won. Claps in the chat for Chad. Uh, good job. You definitely won this one. I have nothing else to say, but you won, Chad. Uh, this was a um, miserable seed, and you sure did a good job uh, trying to stop it from beating it as well. But either way, uh, what is important, however, is that you guys had a lot of fun, and it seems like Chad had a lot of fun. So... I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that crowd control and just a round of applause for everyone that donated. Uh, and for anyone that is sitting there right now with some points left because you didn't spend all the ones, like I said, don't forget there are multiple other crowd control runs coming up throughout this week on the ESA stream um, that you will be able to use those points for. Um, I know that Andy is doing a run. I know that Kelsey is doing a run. And uh, the Black tac uh, Tastic. So, uh, definitely be sure to check out the, their runs. Let me actually double check right here. Uh, yes, uh, you will get a crowd control of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Andy will be doing a, a Link to the Past uh, crowd control. And Kelsey will be doing a Star Fox 64 uh, crowd control. So, three more crowd controls during this ESA marathon. So, if you have any points remaining, definitely be sure to... Uh, stick out for that. Um, but either way, uh, thank you so much, ESA, for having me. Uh, I had an absolute blast doing this run. Uh, if you guys want to see more Zelda content or just Nintendo content in general, you should definitely check out my own Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Linka7 or Linka7 on any other social media for that matter. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much, ESA, for having me. And shout outs to everyone that uh, supported the stream. All right, thank you very much for the insane Wind Waker crowd control randomizer race. Uh, not race, it was a run. <laughs> uh, 
it was race with chat it was honestly really thrilling to watch uh and thanks everyone to who donated and used their coins for the greater good uh we've raised nearly seven thousand dollars and i think that's absolutely wonderful considering esa hasn't even officially started yet so yeah you're all contributing to a great cause and we're extremely thankful and grateful for that and now Stay tuned, because next up we have nothing for like nine <laughs> hours, so see you later. But yeah, really, we're done here. Pre-show ended. You can go home now. But that was the end. Uh, that yeah. was the great showcase of everyone who sadly couldn't make it to ESA. Uh, but um, coming up at 2 p.m. CET is the beginning of the main event, where you will see all the runners live, on site, offline, in flesh. Uh, there will be many exciting runs, so make sure to check out the schedule, which you can find below the stream. We'll be opening with the opening speech. But right after that comes the Grand Theft Auto Vice City, uh, the definitive edition, ran by KZ Fru, but more importantly, co-commentated by the Joshimus. Definitely stay tuned for that. Maybe go to sleep before then, though. I sure will. <laughs> so, a good night, if appropriate, for your time zone, and stick around for this awesome intermission masterfully crafted for you by our glorious tech team. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.